guys and welcome to a new video. So today you are going to be joining me as I ride Smokey and as we have our first training session with my instructor. So before we jump into that I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, how I help training and what I use for that is this app called Equilab. So Equilab have kindly sponsored this video but as always all opinions are my own. So this is going to be my first time using Equilab during a training session. Now I have used it previously for hacking out but that was on my old phone. But since we downloaded it on my new phone I've created a completely new profile so I'm going to show you that in a moment. But basically Equilab is an equestrian tracker but it doesn't just track where your horse has gone. It tells you things like how long you spent in trot, walk and canter. Um, sort of the energy that they spend, the tempo of your ride, it tracks lots of really vital information um, but check it out for yourselves, I'll link it below so you can download it. I personally love using it for hacking because it kind of tells you what route you've taken and you don't realise like how far you've gone. Um, but I'm going to be using it today as a training aid because I am now taking Smokey's training really seriously and I want to start like really focusing on training with him. So this is the first step in doing so. So I've got my Equilab, I've got my instructor ready, let's jump into the lesson. So to set up Equilab all you have to do is open it up and click new ride and then you can choose which horse at the moment I only have Smokey on here but I will be adding the others as I go along and then what type of work we're doing today we're doing flat work so I've selected that and you just click start and put your phone in your pocket and then it will record the entire ride for you I also use mine in conjunction with my Apple watch but obviously that is optional so today I'm having a lesson with my instructor Tracy Rivet. If anyone's looking for a really good instructor, so she's a BHSI um, and you're in sort of the Scunthorpe or North Lincolnshire area, I'll pop her details down below because I do know that she has some availability for some new clients and I can't recommend her enough. So we started by simply warming Mr. Smokey up and as you can see he's already pretty tense. Um, he's still settling in so he's very reactive at the moment as you will see coming up. So Smokey's known for being the drama queen of the herd and this is his reaction to anything he's not too sure about. Luckily he doesn't go far but he does like to have a nice big spook at certain silly things. So in order to get him over this, what we have to do is we have to send him forward and give him something else to focus on um, and think about rather than everything that's going on around him because he's very, very nosy. So our warm up is always kind of just trying to get him to focus first. So we have to do get him moving quite quickly to begin with.
the idea is during my warm up Tracy can see how Smokey's going. I've not had a lesson with her for quite a few weeks um, due to you know the yard move and previously him not having access to a full arena and things so it was basically like starting from new so she needed to assess him initially so I warmed him up how I normally would, she gave me some pointers and she managed to pick up on some really vital things that we would work on later in the session so the fact that he's really stiff on his right hand rein the fact that he's not respecting my inside leg enough that he needs to move away from that that obviously he is quite sharp and listening to everything else apart from me at the moment and obviously we need to get him relaxed and to come down onto the bit um, and not carry his head quite as high and also work on those bends but whilst she was just um, seeing how he was going and giving me tips as I warmed him up I then popped him into canter, did some canter work on both reins to see how he was going in canter and she soon picked up the fact that we are slightly motorbiking and by that I mean he bends on his canter so he doesn't canter straight he tends to lean in on the inside shoulder which is something we'll be working on later in the session So now he's nicely warmed up, it's time to strip it back to basics and the key with Smokey is to slow everything down because what Smokey does as an evasion technique and when he's not sure of things is he does everything at 100 miles an hour to try and get out of it. Um, so what we're doing is we're going straight back to walk and you'll notice in my training I do a lot um, of walk work with Smokey just to get him to calm down and because it's slow enough then for him to start realising what he needs to do so we're just literally working on going right into the corners and Tracy had me literally getting him as far in the corner as I possibly could to then get him to bend around my inside leg because when we warm up and when he's not really listening I find it really difficult to work corners with him so now that I've got his attention we're going to really fix focus on the basics and literally just get him bending around that inside of the leg and really properly going into corners so that we can use a full score. Then once we've done that it was time for him to start respecting my hand a little bit so I was asking him to come down to a contact and as soon as he did releasing and just getting him used to being having his head a little bit lower um, and just accepting the bit a little more and then working in a circle again to get him around that inside leg and keep him in a bit of a banana shape. Keep it on the left brain. 
good and insist that it curves around your right leg. And when it does relax and go around, then soften and reward him. Right, now I want you to leg heel him out to a large circle. And hold on the left raise. The next thing we did again to work on him listening was a bit of leg yield. So coming down that three quarter line and leg yielding back to the track. This gets him moving away from my leg again because he just wasn't responding to begin with. He really wasn't listening. So that's what we were working on straight away with him. Starting in walk and then progressing to trot. Now leg yield is not smoky strong point his flat work in general is very lacking with him being quite green so he does try and lead with his front legs so it requires a lot um, of inside leg to push those hind quarters over and to get him really yielding to the side So the next exercise we're working on is something I've done previously with Tracy and that is working on a square and we're starting to introduce Smokey to a turn about the forehand so where his front legs are staying in the same spot and then his back legs move round you know turning about the front legs. Um, now this is something he particularly struggles with due to being so tight especially on that right rein so we started him on the left and Tracy um, took my whip because she's going to be acting as the leg initially to show me how to get the movement that I need from him because it's something I also struggle with with Smokey um, just knowing how far to push him so Tracy took hold of the whip and I sat in the seat and she's taught me through um, you know slowly introducing him to this now previously when we've tried to do a turn about the forehand or work on a square to begin that um, to stop him dropping in on the inside. He did try and rear with me because it's something he doesn't really understand and anything Smokey doesn't understand he likes to be very dramatic about. But today he started off by working really well. As you can see Tracy just helped me a couple of times and then we progressed to really doing it on our own. I want you to think back legs. Hold him still with the right leg and the back legs move. Back legs, back legs, back legs. Good one. There. That's what I want and I think it's slow. Right. Slow and deliberate, not too much left rein. It's the right rein that's going to send me. You pull on the left rein, you see, you just move the front leg. Yeah. That's slow, slow. There, you see, you get a big reaction then. Yeah. Just make sure you don't pull backwards too much on the left rein. Okay. Now, right rein steady him, right rein and turn. Good one, pat him. Good boy. So that got better. Out. And then it was time to swap to the right rein. Now this is Smokey's worst rein by far. Um, and as you can see, he just wasn't happy at all about doing it. He does like to protest and he did put a little rear in. But he soon realised after that, because normally he does that to try and get away with not doing something, that we were still doing it. And so he did continue and he did actually progress really well in the end. So you got out. There, we're yes. getting it now. We did it together. Lots of praise when he does something right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, that was a vast improvement, wasn't it? Yeah. Make sure your weight is to the left. Yeah, I know, I do that. Yep. Sit out and push. Sit out and push. Good Much boy. better. He's getting the idea now. Yeah, he's getting there, isn't he? Yes, think slow. Don't get too close to the fence. I know, I'm just coming. Sit to the outside. Yes, <laughs> To my side, sit to my side, sit to my side. Yeah, that's getting there. Be slow. Slow and sit outwards. Yeah. 
So as soon as Smokey had got the idea, we then went straight into letting him relax and put his head down um, and lots of praise because obviously with him learning things and being green it's really important that we are stern with him when he's being naughty but that we, there's lots of praise when he's being really good and it gives him a chance to relax and recuperate in between exercises. So then we moved on to again working him on a circle and there was a vast improvement due to the exercise that we've done today in him responding to my inside leg. He was still a little bit tense, but that will come with time as he settles into the school and into these new surroundings. But the lesson was really good. I've got so much to work on and Tracy's given me some really good pointers, some things that we're going to be doing on the ground with him over the next few weeks and I'm going to be having a lesson with Tracy every single week so that we can really start progressing with Smokey. All this groundwork is obviously leading to our jumping work so that's something I'm really excited about. And of course my Equilab has been there every step of the way so I can now look back on all of today's work and see how many things we did. We worked quite evenly on both reins. You can see that we did a lot of work in walk which is brilliant because that's what Smokey needs and this sets a nice parameter and um, a nice idea of what I want to be doing every single day with him. So I can now compare my daily exercise with this training session which is really why I wanted to use Equilab today. Also today tried out my Proline Equine leggings. Now these are brand new to me. They're my new sponsors and I absolutely love them so I'll also link those in the description bar below. Let me guys know what you think of my training session. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've learned a little bit of something from it as well because I always learn something new when I have a lesson. So today I actually covered a distance of 3.3 miles and we were working for 67 minutes and I can go through and look at my tempo, look at the speed that we were doing and obviously the distance that we covered um, and that will really help me in the future when I'm training and especially just in my daily exercise of Smokey. So I really like Equilab as well if you use it for the map feature because it's really great. I always use it previously for hacking because you can see where you've gone and things like that. So I definitely recommend it for that. As I say, we'll be doing a lot more training with Smokey. I'm working him every single day and then he gets like one day off a week. Um, so I will keep you all updated with his progress and I'm super excited to see where we end up because by the end of this session he was working so nicely and I was so proud of him and we had such a great training session to say he started off really spooking and not really listening he was really listening by the end of it and really working from that inside leg so i was super proud of him today so guys that is the end of our first lesson thank you so much for watching and thank you to equilab for sponsoring this video i'll see you all soon bye guys